I'm Kevin Biniazin, and today I'm providing some clarification for some terms that are commonly used in sexual abuse cases. Statute of limitations. A statute of limitations is a fancy way of saying a deadline. A deadline for when a case can be filed in either civil or criminal courts. And for personal injury cases, it's generally two years. But for sexual abuse cases, it can often be much longer than that. Consent. Consent means an agreement or permission for somebody to act in a certain way. What's important to understand about consent is that it requires a competent person to provide consent. If somebody is underage or under a disability or intoxicated, that person is not even able to give consent. Rape. Rape is a hard word, and it gets used in many different ways in different contexts. In the legal world, it has a specific definition. The term rape only includes sexual intercourse. It doesn't include other sexual acts. So the term itself is defined as sexual intercourse through the use of force or intimidation or sexual intercourse of a child under the age of 13, of a person under a mental disability, or a person who's physically helpless. Sexual harassment, sexual assault, and sexual abuse. These three terms are commonly used together or interchangeably, but they mean three different things. Sexual harassment means the unwanted sexual advances of somebody without necessarily committing the sexual act. Sexual assault means committing a sexual act that is unwanted. Sexual abuse has to do with power. It means unwanted sexual acts perpetrated through an abuse of power. 